That win over the Hawks left the Eagles and Essendon as the only unbeaten sides in the league after seven rounds of competition. The two teams met at Windy Hill in round eight. Drop punt, kicks it well and kicks it straight through for a goal. Great start by the West Coast, former Richmond player Corey Young was the man who set them alight. That's Turnbull towards centre wing. Peter Matera, oh, look at that explosive speed. The short one is on. Oh, that is beautiful football. Champagne football, great lead by Sumich. Bit of a blue going on, but we'll keep the eye on Sumich. It's a low trajectory, kicked it, it sneak in for a goal. Yes, it did. One of those unheralded players who plays well every week. Nice kick to up to the full forward. Chance for Hetty. Oh, brilliant mark. Oh, that's memories of Royce Hart, the former Richmond champ, coming across the face of the pack. And a very, very good mark. Well, here he is from 10 metres directly in front. The fourth goal should come up here to the West Coast. Bang. Kicks it hard. Goal. Tapped away by Matt Lewis. Snap. Good kick by the captain. Scores a level. Thumped the ground. Centre wing. Pike. Oh, well done. To the half forward line. Pike gathered about 50 metres then. He should take it over, Spawn. He brought it back into play. I don't think that was very wise because Sumich has got it. Hooks it back into play. A mark not taken. West Coast Eagles players swoop. Oh, Langdon over the top. Wilson an open goal. One bounce. A goal coming up to the West Coast. The Essendon game left the Eagles clear at the top of the AFL ladder. And it also sparked fierce discussion about crowd security after videotape from the game clearly showed Don Pike being manhandled by a spectator during a boundary line scuffle. Similar problems emerged at Windy Hill three weeks later when spectators invaded the ground after the final siren. The Eagles.